Why hello there, long time no see. Today I'm going to show you how I go about doing my makeup for Catra from Shiva and the Princesses of Power. Without further ado, let's begin. Literally all I'm doing with the moisturizer is smudging it all over my face. Primer, okay. So I'm putting the one on the left on my T-zone, AKA my nose, forehead, cheek area, and also the chin while the primer on the right is put literally everywhere else. Next step is foundation. Please keep in mind that I don't support this brand, but it's all I got, so I'm using it. Basically all I'm doing is dotting it all over my face and blending it in with a wet makeup sponge. Concealer isn't anything fancy. I'm just dotting it under my eyes, on and under my nose, and on all the pimples that I have because I'm a teenager with hormones and that causes me to break out. While waiting for that to get tacky, let's move on to the eyebrows. I am just using brown eyeshadow and an angled brush to fill in my eyebrows. Once eyebrows are done, I'm moving back to blending in the concealer I left earlier. Continuing, we have bronzer or contour or whatever you call it. I'm contouring my cheekbones, jawline, and the nose area. Something I do is put a mix of blush and contour all over my nose bridge. Um, everyone in the show has some sort of blush. This is just how I replicate that. Okay, next is my favorite part, the freckles. I use an old eyeshadow palette, a fork, and some setting spray stuff. I'm taking that brown color, spraying some of that setting spray on the eyeshadow and sticking the fork into the mess. After that, I just dot the fork on my face, making sure to turn the fork so all the freckles don't look like it's coming from just one direction. It helps make it look a little more natural. For Catra, I tend to add freckles in just the cheek and nose area. Once I'm finished dotting eyeshadow all over, I'm going over that eyeshadow with my finger to help blend it in. Great, with all that done, I'm going to set my face with a different setting spray than before because I am extra. One thing I would really like to mention is the smell of the setting spray. It smells so much. So if smell is something you're sensitive to like me, I do not suggest this spray. But Lainey, if you hate the smell, why do you continue to use it? because it was gifted to me and I'm not going to let it go to waste. Now stop asking questions. Moving on. Highlighter. I have this really random stick highlighter that I really like. So I'm going to put that on my cheekbones, tip of my nose and my cupid's bow. I am then going to go back in with a brush to blend that all out. Okay, this next part's going to get a little confusing, but here we go. Eyes. For Catch's look, I do not just use one, not two, but four different eyeshadow palettes. Why, you may ask? Because I need to make sure everything I do is 10 times harder for myself. And I thought I told you to stop asking off. I'm using a color that is basically my skin color and placing that all over my eyes. This literally does nothing besides help the colors we put on in the future blend better. Now that we look the exact same as before, I'm putting that blue color on my right eye to help represent the blue eye that Catra has. With the other eye, I'm going in with a more sunflower yellow and doing the exact same as I did before to represent Catra's other eye. Once that is done, I'm mixing the gray color with the blue and placing that in my crease while placing this orange color into the crease of the other eye. I'm also making sure to blend out the colors as I go. For the yellow eye, I'm using this mix of even darker oranges and placing that on the outer V. Then I'm using that navy blue color and doing the same just on the other side. So same method, different colors essentially. And with that, the eyeshadow part is done. I finish the eye look off with a half cut crease because fancy and Catra is just one of those characters that can go heavy with the makeup. Next is eyeliner. Sacrifice your firstborn child and pray to the gods you don't mess this up. I decided not to film this part to help me focus. Just always remember, sisters not twins. Mascara. Just slap it on there and call it good. Next is lips. I like to go the Kim Possible style with Catra, so I'm using darker shades on my top lip and a more neutral color on my bottom lip. Finally, we end off with lashes. I recently got these fancy looking ones, so I just slapped those on and called it good. And there we have it, makeup is complete. But this isn't the end of the video. When doing research on how to go about Catra's mask thing and how to attach it, I could not find 
anything about how other catcher cosplayers do it. So I'm going to break the unknown rule of talking about the mask and showing you how to do it to help anybody who is thinking of cosplaying catcher themselves. I first start off with the wig, which calls for wig caps. I use a netted cap first and layer on two stocking type caps over that just to help hide my hair and keep it in place while the wig is on. Now that I have successfully turned myself into an egg, it's time for the wig. I use a slice front wig just because I have it and the actual wig I plan on using for Catra is not here, so adapt. Obviously, the lace on the sides are showing, but thanks to the mask, I don't have to worry about gluing them down or anything. Speaking of which, let's move on to the mask bit. I style the wig into a very quick half up half down situation and I'll show you why in just a second. So on the back of my mask, there is a band of elastic and this is how I keep the thing on my head without having to glue it down to my face. I place the mask over my head and unclip the hair on the top to help cover the elastic. And there we go, mask is on. Moving on, we have the ears. In the future, I plan on attaching them with magnets, but as of right now, I have attached bobby pins to the end of each ear and all I do to attach them is by sliding the elastic into the middle of the bobby pins, if that makes any sense. So essentially the ears are attached to the mask and not my wig or my head or anything. Usually I would have fangs and nails while in this costume, but this video is long enough and on this specific day of me filming, I needed to be in costume for a solid, like, five hours, which would have meant having these nails and fangs on for that long and even though I like making things harder for myself, I'm not putting myself through that. Oh, and just another thing I almost forgot to show is how I do Catra's little arm mark things. Basically, I use this random concealer palette I have for whatever reason, take the darkest shade and draw on the little marks like that. It's hard to do by yourself, but it's fine. They don't have to be perfect. Now that the arm marks are done, so are we. Anyways, I really hope this helped anyone with their makeup or was at least entertaining to watch. If you end up trying this look, please show me by tagging me in a post on Instagram or something. I would love to see what you guys do with this. Besides that, be sure to subscribe or whatever you do on here. Also, one final thing before I go, thank you for almost 200 subs. I don't know why all of you subscribe seeing I've only uploaded like five videos, but regardless of that, thank you. I'll see you in another three months or something. Ooh.